Good afternoon and thank you for joining our WNCT Now Early Afternoon News Update. I'm Kelsey O'Donnell broadcasting to you today from inside the digital studio with some of today's top news headlines. We are continuing to track the coronavirus across the state of North Carolina. State officials say they are seeing a disturbing rise in new COVID-19 cases. State health officials are reporting a record high one day increase in COVID cases with more than 5,600 new positive test results since yesterday. The previous record was set last month, just over 4,500 cases reported on November 22nd. Health experts have been waiting to see how high those numbers would go after holiday travel and gatherings. The rate of tests coming out positive is at 10.1% close to the record of 11.4% just yesterday. More than 2,000 people are being treated for the virus at North Carolina hospitals. Over 5,000 COVID patients have died. We'll hear more from North Carolina health officials on our 2 p.m. news conference right here on WNCT Now's live stream page. State health officials say North Carolina will get its first shipment of COVID-19 vaccine in less than two weeks. Leaders say there are as many as 950,000 people in the first priority group to get a vaccine. But they warn there won't be enough to vaccinate everyone in that group, residents in long-term care facilities. State health leaders expect weekly allocations of each vaccine starting December 21st. Meanwhile, the CDC is now changing its quarantine protocols, hoping it will get more people to follow the guidelines. People exposed to COVID-19 now need to isolate for 10 days, not the 14 days that was previously required. If they're exposed but test negative, they only need to quarantine for seven days. If you do travel this holiday season, the CDC recommends getting tested one to three days before a trip and again three to five days after getting home. Travelers should also minimize movement as much as possible in between. We're following new information today out of Pitt County. East Carolina University is announcing furloughs to some of its top administrators due to the economic impact of the pandemic. ECU sent out a notice Thursday morning announcing furloughs for its chancellor, chief of staff, vice chancellors, deans, and directors of the two libraries at the university. Officials say this will save the school about $250,000. Revenues for the university has taken a hit this year, leading to furloughs in other areas of the school. Interim Chancellor Ron Mitchelson says that it makes sense for the leadership to show it's willing to sacrifice to benefit the school. This is a developing story. Niner Side will bring you the full report on our newscast tonight at 5 and 6. Well, it's starting to feel more like the month of December with the cold temperatures here in eastern North Carolina. Our first alert meteorologist Alex Wasilenko joins us to tell us if these chilly temperatures will stick around. Happy Little Friday, everybody. I'm your first alert meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko. After one of our coldest starts of the week, in fact, it was the coldest start of the week, we are going for a warmer afternoon today, warmer than the last couple of days. We should pop back into the upper 50s and low 60s today as high pressure overtakes the forecast. That's going to allow for lots of sunshine and some southerly winds to help warm us up. However, we'll cool back down overnight, of course, under the influence of partly cloudy skies and calming winds. We'll wake up to temperatures in the upper 30s and low 40s. 40s Friday morning, but do be sure to enjoy today because a big weather system will make its way into eastern North Carolina throughout the day Friday into early Saturday morning. We'll start off with clouds Friday, then enter some isolated showers to the mix through the afternoon, but a bulk of the moisture will pass on by overnight Friday into early Saturday morning. That same system will likely prompt a first alert weather day for late Friday into early Saturday as downpours, strong winds, isolated severe storms, and even minor coastal flooding will all be likely. Download that free First Alert weather app as we continue to iron out all the details of that incoming storm system for Friday night into early Saturday morning. Again, First Alert weather days are in effect Friday night through Saturday morning, but by the second half of your Saturday, the storm will begin to exit the Carolina coast, leaving behind some breezy west-northwesterly winds, clearing skies, and cooler temperatures for Sunday. Sunday, we will only top out in the 50s once again to conclude the weekend, heading into the new work week for both inland and coastal communities. Yet another storm system arrives in the east with just some isolated showers, but it's going to be a chilly rainfall with highs only topping out in the low 50s. We'll continue with those low 50s on Tuesday. With a decent spike, though, occurring in temperatures by next Wednesday, we should get back up to near 60 degrees, which is right where we're supposed to be this time of year. Make it a happy rest of your Little Friday, everybody. I'm your first alert meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko. 
All right. Thank you, Alex. That will do it for our WNCT Now early afternoon news update. Be sure to stick around for our late afternoon news update with more of the latest top news headlines right here on WNCT Now. Thanks for watching.